opportunity will grant you your tuition fee, all right, monthly stipend of about $2,700, which also increased to about $3,200 when you actually pass the qualifying exam. You're also going to be having a one-time airfare grant of about $1,500 and one-time settling in allowance of about $1,000. This application is open and the deadline is going to be in December. And guess what? There is no application fee. What do you need to apply? What do you need to be eligible for this program? This is open for application to all international graduates with a passion for research and excellent academic results. You need to have also as an applicant good skills in written and spoken English, good reports from academic referees. That is where you have studied previously. The above eligibility criteria are not exhaustive, which means that they may also require you to submit some other form of document in the course of your your application. So what is this program about? It is called SINGA. It is a collaboration amongst the Agency for Science, Technology and Research, the Nyang Technological University, NTU, right? You also have the NUS, which is a National University of Singapore, Singapore Management University, SMU, the Singapore University of Technology and Design, SUTD. You also have Singapore Institute of Technology, SIT. This is a bond free award offered to international students with excellent academic undergraduate and or master's results. And you have strong interest in doing research leading to a PhD that is a doctorate or ENGD in science and engineering at the Singapore University. The students can choose to do their research star or NTU or any of those university or institutions I've mentioned, the PhD degree will be conferred by any of these institutions as well. So basically, it's for higher degree studies. And there are some frequently asked questions you can actually check out at your free time. Why does SINGA office offer scholarship for direct PhD programs for international students? You can read that up. Will graduate students be more competitive than undergraduates? You can read that up. How many awards will be offered each year? They say the award will be offered twice twice for August and January intakes, all right, during the academic year. Will my university admission application be separated, considered if I'm not awarded this scholarship? All right, for Singa, Singa that is S-I-N-G-A, Science, Technology and Research there in Singapore, contacted for um, university admission if you're successful and they are not required to submit a separate application for university admission. Should you wish to be considered separately for university admission, you actually need to apply to both S-I-N-G-A and the university concurrently, all right? So all that inf information here, you can actually read through at your free time. Very importantly here, for people that will ask for interview, how interview will be conducted. Singa interviews are typically conducted virtually, either through Skype or Zoom. So you need to have any of these applications for you to be able to have an interview with this agency there in Singapore. Is it possible for spouse to come over, all right, to actually have the information here? With regards to other information on FAQ questions that you might not be able to answer in this video, please, the link scholarship will be in the video description. How then do we go through application? So first things first is to take a look at application procedure. The first thing here is to browse the PhD research projects that you're interested in. The second is for you to, to take a look at the documents required. Do prepare the following document in advance before applying. Valid passport, that is your international passport or travel passport. A recent passport size photo in JPEG or PNG format. You also have transcripts and reports. All transcripts need to be in English right, not in another language. Mandatory uh, documents to submit bachelor's and or master's academic transcripts and certificates, a letter of certification from the university or your candidature if your degree certificate has not yet been conferred, right? You also need to have two recommendation reports to be completed and submit, submitted online by the referees themselves. Applicants applying to NUS supervisors projects are required to submit GRE scores all right, in your single application for that is people who are interested in that institution and US. For all other applicants, you may be requested by the university to submit a satisfactory GRE scores, all right, as part of your university admission requirements. Please note that IELTS, TOEFL, SAT, GATE results is optional. It's written here. However, it may be requested depending on the course that you choose during your university admission. All other important information you can actually read through at your free time.
Also note that for August 2025, your application deadline is 1st of December 2024 at this time. For application here, you need to click on this um, link, apply single via this link. Getting to this next page here, you can read, feel free to read all of the information you have here. Here you have account login, login with single pass, login without single pass. All right, so that is where you click without single pass because this is the first time you're logging in, first timer. What you need to do is to click on register now and it takes you to another page the new page here says register new account full name all right you have register new account full name as in on your passport first name given name middle name last name sex that's your gender male or female citizenship type you click here you find out where your country is so if you're non singapore all right you click on that and it gives you a list of country afterwards then please note that this date of birth will be issued will be used for identity verification upon login have that in mind you also need to enter your passport number your date of birth all right it gives you the way you need to enter that your email address you, you confirm your email address, enter the CAPTCHA code you see here, or you might need to generate a new image here. Enter the code below and then click on I accept the terms of use, privacy, and all of that here. And finally, the button for submit will come up and you click on that and then you submit. After that, you get a notification in your email telling you the way forward with regards to your uploading your documents and then following on that instructions please do not forget that the submission deadline is 1st of december at this time for people that will be interested also bear in mind that there is no application fee and this is absolutely open to anyone looking to move abroad at a very affordable or no cost at all like this video share with your family and friends subscribe if you're new here and turn on your post notification to be the first to know when i upload useful content with regards to your application journey have in mind that this may be one of the opportunities which will actually take you abroad and from there you can move to your other destination thanks for watching and see you in my next video